Okay, so today we're going to be doing a video on the pros and cons of having an outdoor wood boiler inside a shelter or garage or some type of covering versus just having it outside in the elements. Uh, some things that I found to be good or bad, so we'll kind of go over some things. And then there's my dog in the picture here. So, um, so I've had this wood boiler now. This is our first winter with it. And uh, these, this Heatmaster G10,000 is rated to be in inside or under a cover versus just being you know outside so it is rated to be inside somewhere so um i'd say some pros i would say it's it isn't getting rained on snow i mean it is cool to the touch there is no heat you would think that you would have it would be like hundreds of degrees but there is i mean if i took my glove off this is cold this is as cold as it is outside here uh, obviously that stack gets a little warm but honestly i could take my bare hands and i could hold on to that it's maybe 100 and some degrees that's double walled and so insulated so um which nice is that when you have to do a a clean out you're not getting snow or rain obviously that's not all the time you know there is like a weekly clean on this but it's not terrible um so that is nice i mean my wood storage is right over here and that's under cover as well mind the mess here but um so all my wood that i burn is all right here this is all season this is ash here there's some hickory there locust that's a little bit of ash and behind all there that's about four and a half cords of wood that's in the back there is all locust so as you can tell I've, this is what i've gone through this winter so far um not a ton i do burn I have some crates that I use, which you can see probably some oak over there. But this is, uh, so it is nice. I mean, it is nice to have everything in one one unit here to get, that way you're not getting, you know, like I said, rain or snow and wood stays dry as well. But getting back to the boiler here, so kind of my setup here, I mean, I can bring my tractor through here to bring the wood. That's how I got the stove in there. Um, <clears throat> we have it piped through obviously the roof there which is all tin obviously right now it's running it's gassing that's not smoke that's just gas uh, condensation there so just put some wood in it before but uh, it's easy if I need to go on the roof and clean that I can just get on the roof over there go up spin the top off clean it no big deal um, So going back, so this all instead of cement used to all be like dirt and gravel. This is where I do all my firewood processing. So I wanted to have this be um, cement, a lot easier to clean up. Usually it's a lot cleaner than this, but we process wood almost daily here. So there's always a mess. And we just got done with a 50 degree day and we did have two, three inches. So everything's super wet and, and muddy and whatever. But um, so. The plan was to originally have the boiler over there, but that's like my overflow for my wood storage, the, the wood that we sell. So I'm like, yeah, I don't know if that's a good idea. And I didn't want it to be further away from the house and the garages that are being heated. So I decided this is kind of dead space over here because we have room to process wood. I can still get in here and get out with my tractors and stuff. So we put, <clears throat> we trenched the lines all the way to the house. There's one that goes all the way to the garage over here. So we had to obviously put the pipes in before we poured this. So this, and we got the electrical ran and the ethernet cable and whatnot. Um, so, and then having it in here is, is awesome. I mean, I never have an issue uh, with the rain coming in. Everything is all siliconed up top. It's on the roof silicone. You can maybe see a little bit from there, but I've never had any water drip down. Uh, I don't have to worry about running a hose here to fill it because I fill it from inside the house where the lines go in. So, so having it inside to me is great. Uh, having it, the, I'd say the only con that I would have, obviously these have a smoke bypass. It does work, but you're still going to get smoke in here. It just, it, it is, is what it is. And uh, there's my son. Say hello. All right, keep playing. Uh, so you're always going to have smoke come in here. It's obviously not going to be a ton of smoke when you open the door because you, you, you load it really quick, so it's not really a huge, huge problem. And I do have some of the tools that I use 
um, to clean it and so on. So I mean, I have the scraper for the lower refractory here. I use this when I stir up the coals. Some shovel, you know, the shovel when I rake out and do uh, some of the ash cleanouts, like once every two weeks or so, depending on what I'm burning. But um, you know, some some kindling when there's that cedar there, just in case. Um, so. To have it indoors, to me, it makes sense. It's going to look like this probably until I die, unless I get a new one 30 years from now or whatever. But uh, yeah, no, so far so good. I know I had some people request to see, you know, my setup here and how I like it and whatnot. And I think it's great. I mean, obviously, you got to go outside to fill it no matter what the temp is. And at least I'm in here. So yeah. You might get a little draft that comes from over here, through here, out the other side, but that's fine. I'm not out in the elements doing it. I know probably 90% of them are outside, which is fine. I mean, it'd be just fine. I mean, it would probably still look like this. You know, you may have a little bit of snow built up, but it'll, it would maybe melt. I don't know, because it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't get hot. I just wanted it, you know, you spent, I spent 18 grand on this. I, I wanted it to be, you know, looking new and whatever. And if I ever need to work on it something's wrong at least i'm not out you know out in the elements and and so on but you know not everybody has room to put it somewhere some people don't you know have big you know pole barns and so on and but i, I like it out here i mean yeah it was a little bit more work to get the electrical ran to it and whatever but that's all minimal i mean once it's done it's done so um obviously it is a must to have it on like a concrete floor so it is flat <clears throat> it was a little tricky in here because i had to worry about you know some water coming in but uh i'm not too concerned here because there's this is all heated underneath so the snow does melt uh, and any type of water goes to the drain over here and it gets plumbed out over there and same thing on the other side here this is where all that wood is stacked or dumped here that's all heated and this whole new section of concrete's all heated and it's heated by my boiler so i will be doing a video on how that snow melt all works and and so on eventually uh the next time we get a snow i'll probably do a time lapse on how it melts and and whatever but uh <clears throat> yeah no i mean i think i covered everything i mean pros are obviously self-explanatory the cons i would say are just just the smoke that does bellow up in here but like i said it's not a lot and eventually it does know dissipate out so it's not terrible um i would say that's probably my only negative um it was a pain in the ass <laughs> putting this unit in here because you really can't lift it from the hook with anything because of the roof line uh pallet jack would work i didn't have one so i kind of used my tractor to pick it up and move it which was a pain in the ass but i got it it was no big deal i mean it's here now obviously and so other than getting it there, that's like the only trouble. Other than that, it's it's fine. I mean, there's really no other negative I can think of, really. Um, trying to think here. I, I did build this little cart, nothing crazy, just to go from there to here back to bring the wood over, which it's not a ton of wood. You know, I maybe have a little, a little mound of wood, and that's what I burn for at least 12 hours. Depending on how cold it is, like right now, I think it's in the upper 30s, and I'm not going to go through a lot of wood at all. I just did a full clean out yesterday, so that's why it's running a lot because the, there's not really a, a good cold bed established yet. But there will be after today. So, um, yeah, no, it's uh, I like it underneath. I knew I would, obviously. It's it's always going to look like this, and. I think it's a huge bonus if you can keep it out of the elements. You spend a lot of money on it, but yes, they are rated for outside. It's, it is fine. It is sealed real nice. Uh, I don't think there'd be any water penetration that gets to the roof. I mean, it's, it's built really good. So you can see here how they have like the little, it's, it's angle. I don't know if you can tell that the, if the water or snow built up, it would drain past the door. Everything seals really good. Um, so. Yeah, no, I, th I think it's a success having it indoors. I mean, to each their own. I just had the opportunity to put it in here. I mean, this lean-to was built way before uh, we had this. So, and then this concrete work was done this year. And it, it, and it works. It works for what we got. And the wood stays dry. It's close to the close enough to the wood that, you know, you're not trucking across, you know, the grass or the mud. Because it is going to get wet. You know, it's, it's great in the summer when it's all grass and it's dry. But you got to think about when it's, you know, wintertime. 
I mean, it, it gets wet, it gets cold, and you're slopping through all this here. I, I walk on concrete the whole way here, and I walk over here, I stir up the coals, throw the wood in, and I leave. You know, so uh, to me, I don't know if I would ever enclose, fully enclose, like put a barn door on this or something, which I may do just to slowly stop some of the snow. This side will always be wide open. But I feel like if you head it in a full enclosure, I, I don't think that's a good idea. There's going to be smoke. I don't care about the smoke bypass. You, you, you're going to get some. It's just how it goes. And if it gets really smoky, I mean, it's going to be hard to breathe. And yeah, everything else is just going to smell like smoke. So I, I think you still got to have a good airflow. I've seen a lot of other boiler videos where they have it indoors and up on top. It's It's got some, you know, roof gaps where it can ventilate out. And I do too. I mean, I don't know if you probably won't be able to see it, but the tin does go just over here and that's open to the the atmosphere over there so that's all you can kind of see some gaps where the uh, gutters are but yeah so you know it, it gets enough airflow in here that it can breathe obviously so yeah no I think that's that pretty much wraps up pros and cons of having an outdoor wood boiler inside um, I don't think you really have to worry about this burning down everything if it overheats or whatever it shuts everything down just snuffs the fire so yeah i need there's no sparks that are going to get in here we have the you know it's a tin roof so no sparks really come out anyways i've never seen any on, on this style it's just you know two three hundred degree exhaust temps and maybe a little bit of fly ash but i've never seen any sparks or anything like that but i guess you could get it really built up creosote but that's no difference than a chimney on your house so same concept as long as you keep up on the maintenance and um clean outs and whatnot it should be fine but like i said i never had any issues so yeah i think that wraps up this video and if you have any other questions or want some follow-up video on something just let me know and just comment down below and we'll go from there